Whether you're searching for a PlayStation exclusive or a third-party juggernaut, PS Plus Extra and Premium should have most players covered. With so many titles to pick from, knowing where to start can be challenging, and that extends to open-world projects. PS Plus covers this genre quite extensively, including everything from first-person shooters to survival and role-playing games. Today on Game Rants, we're going to be going over the best open-world games on PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium for May 2024. At number 10, we've got Saints Row 2. PS Plus has three Saints Row games, Saints Row 2, Saints Row 4, and Gat Out of Hell. Despite falling within the same franchise, all three games are fairly different from each other. Saints Row 4 and its spin-off, Gat Out of Hell, are unapologetically over the top to the point that they bear almost no resemblance to reality. On the other hand, Saints Row 2 is more down-to-earth, while nevertheless leaning into parody and comedic territory. Set in Stillwater, the story tasks the protagonist with reforming the Saints, which naturally means they will need to take on other gangs that have gotten a foothold in the city. Even if it isn't as absurd as later entries in the franchise, the sandbox game still gives players all the tools they need to spread mayhem on the streets. It just happens to be accompanied by a pretty good story and some great characters. At number 9, we've got Lost Judgment. Lost Judgment's main selling points are its storyline and world, the latter of which comes packed with side quests and minigames. Like quite a few entries in this license, the game is set in Kamurocho, which is inspired by Tokyo's Kabukicho District. The reused map might get tiresome for longtime Yakuza fans, but the open world is great in isolation. Story-wise, Lost Judgment focuses on bullying, a touchy subject that the game treats seriously but also struggles to explore with nuance. Nevertheless, the campaign produces more than a few awesome moments. At number 8, we've got Batman Arkham Knight. PS Plus has Batman fans well-fed. Rocksteady's full Arkham trilogy, Arkham Origins, and the maligned Gotham Knights are available on the premium tier. Meanwhile, extra-level subscribers can play Arkham Knight and Gotham Knights. Arkham Knight is an impressive achievement, and it features arguably gaming's best rendition of Gotham to date. Even nearly a decade later, the game's open world remains a sight to behold. It's visually striking, dense with architecture, and dripping in style and personality. Putting aside the polarizing Batmobile sections, Arkham Knight is generally fantastic and features the deepest combat system in the franchise. At number 7, we've got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Set during the height of piracy, Black Flag takes place in the West Indies, a map filled with diverse locations, three central cities, and lots to discover. The campaign quickly puts the player behind the wheel of a ship and gets them out on the water, encouraging them to explore to their heart's content. Black Flag is, first and foremost, a pirate game rather than an Assassin's Creed sequel, and this helps differentiate it from everything that came before and after. At number 6, we've got Fallout 4. Bethesda's latest single-player Fallout is on offering with PS Plus for players who are looking to patrol through the wastelands. With a map that's even larger than Skyrim's, Fallout 4 gives players tons of areas to explore, with a multitude of side quests to complete and secrets to uncover. Those looking for an FPS-style RPG with a myriad of areas to conquer should definitely fall in love with the iconic release. At number 5, we've got Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online. Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 5 has been around since 2013, and both the single-player campaign and GTA Online are juggernauts in the open-world market. The latter has taken up most of Rockstar's attention in recent years, with the multiplayer portion receiving consistent updates to ensure it keeps a stronghold over its player base. While not without its flaws and criticisms, GTA Online offers an addictive sandbox that is equipped for both solo and co-op play, along with also including PvP content. Whether someone is looking to pull off heists with friends, Friends, purchase real estate, or just go cruising, they'll be able to do it in Los Santos. At number 4, we've got The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Debuting in 2011, Skyrim was a massive hit right out of the gate, and its popularity has not slowed down over the last decade. The Special Edition is the definitive way to experience Bethesda's masterpiece on consoles, as it improves the visuals and provides support for mods which have played a huge part in extending the RPG's lifespan. Skyrim's open world approaches perfection as it encourages exploration and discovery. The main storyline is fine, but the game's success lies in its immersive locations, customization options, and character writing. Even as the years continue to pass, Skyrim still comes across as a big deal, and its addition to PS Plus Extra makes the service seem far more complete. At number 3, we've got Horizon Forbidden West. 
Approximately a year following its debut, Horizon Forbidden West was added to PS Plus Extra. Besides being a big get for the platform, this announcement could provide some indication of how Sony plans to treat first-party titles when it comes to its subscription service. Guerrilla Games sequel sees Aloy heading west, visiting areas that were once part of Utah, Nevada, and California just to name a few featured states. Horizon Forbidden West retains what worked in Horizon Zero Dawn, which is also on PS Plus Extra, all the while expanding on a few things that could have been improved upon. On. While the 2017 release has a beautiful and impressive open world, its sequel fills it with more interesting side content and micro stories. Consequently, Horizon Forbidden West map feels slightly more alive. When it comes to combat, the game delivers thrilling encounters that pit Aloy against both humans and robots. The latter is undoubtedly the campaign's highlight. At number 2 we've got Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. The PS4 swan song as Sony's main console, Ghost of Tsushima transports players back in time to the 13th century as the Mongols invade Japan's Tsushima Island. After failing to stop the invasion and almost meeting his end, Jin Sakai goes on a quest to recruit fighters that could help turn the tide of battle. Ghost of Tsushima's open world is gorgeous, be it on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. Tsushima Island is lavish, varied, and breathtaking. The same can also be said about Iki Island, the location of the expansion that's included in the director's Cut. Within this map, players can look forward to engaging in intense samurai-themed battles and decent side quests with memorable NPCs. And finally, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 borders on an immersive sim at times, although it's not a standard entry in the genre. While certainly plot-driven, the campaign is filled with slow-life moments designed to showcase Arthur Morgan's daily routine beyond the shootouts and internal squabbles of the Vanderlyn gang. Traveling across the map is an arduous and lengthy process, one filled with tiring elements that emphasize an outlaw's hard life. Red Dead Redemption 2's adherence to detail and authenticity can be exhausting and polarizing, but they contribute significantly to the unique brilliance of Rockstar's masterpiece. And there you have it folks, the best open world games on PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium for May 2024. Thank you for tuning in to Game Rant and be sure to stay tuned for more videos.